Here are five trigger combinations you can use to set up creative yet powerful automations. Time and presence. If you want to feel like you're being attended to by a butler, try combining time and ES presence triggers to create highly personal automations. By time bounding your presence, you can trigger automations that support your routine, like keeping informed of traffic conditions for your commute to work, or reminding you to stay healthy for your family. Buttons are simple and powerful, but they are sometimes overlooked as basic. When we press a button, we expect something to happen like a light turning on or an alarm activating. But something we overlook is that buttons can affect our house virtually by toggling virtual switches. For example, as a smart home connoisseur, you may use your voice to turn on the lights, but when guests are over, you don't expect them to know commands or have an intimate knowledge of your smart home. By flipping a virtual switch, your house can convert to a guest-friendly state where only essential automations that make sense for guests are activated. Don't worry about the lights. I will turn them off when you leave. NFC and webhooks. Webhooks and NFCs can be used in such a wide variety of situations that make them the OG automation tools. Individually, both of these technologies can trigger automations. However, when you combine them, you can create a truly magical experience that makes your smart home feel like it was built by Disney. Printed photos take on a whole new dimension by adding an NFC tag to the frame. Now playing a special moment, turning one. Still photos come alive as NFC tags trigger webhooks that open moments and emotions that can only be captured through video. But why stop at NFCs? You can create an equally engaging experience using QR codes. For those of you that have digital art, you can incorporate a QR code to each image that can play these precious moments throughout the house. Shortcuts and webhooks. If you're watching this video, chances are you're the only person in your household that is into smart home tech, which means that not everyone will have the same apps or phone or anything, to be honest. For example, right, I have an iPhone and my wife has a potato. I mean, an Android. I have HomeKit and shortcuts and my wife has none of those things. Them fighting words. More importantly, she doesn't really care. So as a marker of a well thought of smart home, ensuring that even a Nokia can trigger an automation means that your smart home is taking a lot of things into consideration. And since just about every phone can access the web and save bookmarks as shortcuts, we can use webhooks that are triggered by any web capable device. Using a website to trigger your automation allows anyone on your network to manipulate lights and everyday situational automations. Of course, you should avoid exposing sensitive automations like unlocking doors, deactivating alarms, and so forth, but this provides a fun, convenient way for family members or guests to control the house. Think about it. What kind of experience could you provide for those of you who have, let's say, a home that you rent out for Airbnb? If guests can access uh, safe automations, you can create a unique living experience for your guests. The last set of triggers come from smart devices capable of communicating their states and actions. The simplest of all of these are energy monitoring plugs that communicate the power level of appliances. With these device level triggers, you can create robust automations that lets you know when clothes are washing or when dish pods need replacing or when your batteries are low. And the fun part of this is that the smarter the machine, then the more robust the automation you can create. This video was meant to share my passion and inspire new ideas in the smart home community. If you're interested in learning more about some of these automations, like for instance, automations using webhooks or ES presence, you can browse through my automation idea playlist. Additionally, I have affiliate links to all of the primary devices shown in this video. In advance, I wanna thank all of you who use these links as they do financially support this channel at no extra cost to you. With that, go and create something new.